Hello and welcome to this digital factory presentation in which we're going to take a look at the great easy to use interface of VPM. VPM is part of Digital Factory and offers the user a unique visual control center that enables the complete management of all jobs awaiting production, currently being produced and even jobs that have finished production. This simplistic yet powerful approach provides the perfect solution for anyone running a large format printer, cutter or hybrid device. Let's take a look at the areas that make up the Visual Production Manager. Jobs can be sent to VPM from all the popular design applications, including Photoshop, Illustrator and Coral Draw. It's also possible to simply drag and drop your files directly onto the VPM interface. Now Digital Factory also has a unique separate user interface called the pre-flight toolbox and this contains a range of tools for making size and layout adjustments as well as adding text and contour paths to your designs. Now once you have finished editing images they can also be sent from here directly to VPM for output. Whichever method you choose once a job arrives in VPM it will be displayed in this area here in list form. For each job awaiting production it's simple to see the name, the status, the device you're going to print onto and other such details that are related to that particular job. Now right clicking on a job in this area will enable more options. So for example I could simply click here to send this job to my printer. To the right of this we have the main preview area. As I select a job within the list queue, a visual image of the job is displayed here enabling easy identification. I can use the zoom tools to expand on any area of the job and I can use these side tabs to pan as well. This area also tells me how my job sits in relation to my current page. So for example any part of the job that exceeds my page will be shown in red and this would indicate that I would need to tile the image in order to produce it with my current media sizes. Below this is a series of tools that will enable you to easily make size and volume adjustments. Tiling, cropping and adding more copies are functions that are all accessed from here. Now for example if I want to crop the currently selected image I simply need to hit this tab to access those tool sets. I don't have to go looking through the menus at the top to find what I need, it's all easily accessible. Ok and finally on the left down the bottom here we have the archive queue. Jobs are placed here once they have been sent for production and this enables us to then delete or archive the jobs including any printer specific details such as the print mode and media we used for future use. Another option for the visual production manager is the ability to simultaneously run more than one queue. Multiple queues can be set up for a number of different scenarios such as printing to multiple devices or controlling output options such as nesting and tiling. In this simple example I have created additional queues to separate different media types. If we look to the top here you can see just how easy it is to toggle between my separate queues and view the jobs in each one. Digital Factory takes the complexity out of everyday job management and allows the user to maximize time and save money. This intelligent new product is packed full of features that will enable a smoother more efficient workflow. Why not take a look at some of the other presentations that will explain these features including multiple queues in more detail.